Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I was saying hello, but I then I said maybe nobody's there right now. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm good. I'm good. Everything okay, I think. How was your day today? Um, it, it was stressful. Oh, yes? Why is that? Because I went to my job very early in, in the Salvador del Mundo. The... Um, the crazy people has a, a show on the street and I can't get get off um, mm -hmm. get up get uh, sorry get on uh, to the buses because the BMT uh, takes a picture to all the bosses. Why? I don't know, crazy. I think it's a, a stupid show. I, I read somewhere and... that I think in the future, um, the buses will belong to, the buses will belong to the government now. I think, but I went to my job very late. You, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you went very late. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. How is everybody today? How are you, Marielos? Fine, thanks, teacher. How Good. about you? How was your day today? Eh, normal, normal day, but I'm um, so tired. Yeah. <clears throat> Queen Elizabeth died. Yes, yes. You know, but I think it's ridiculous. I see on Facebook everybody, re-IP, 
Descanse en paz, Reina Isabel. Oh, please. <laughs> no, but for the oh, history, uh, she, uh, she was a big history in the in the old life. Yeah, she she had an interesting life. She had an interesting yeah. life. You know who died today too? Do you know Nanitos Verdes? Yes. The I singer, like. the singer died. Yes. That was sad. Hello, Milton. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Good, good. Not, nothing is interesting this day. We're talking that Queen Elizabeth died. Oh, yeah, yeah, the news, the news, okay. How, how do you say mis condolences? My condolences. My condolences. Okay. Naive le pegó una una huevada esa maitra one day. Did you see that? No, no. Tell me. Because I don't know if, of course, I don't think it was her. It was her people. They tweeted that they say, I am concerned about what is happening in El Salvador. And then the president of El Salvador, he retweeted, we had, a, we had a civil war in the 80s and we never received a concern from you. Okay, I remember. Yes. Okay, it's true. Yes, yes, I remember. Yes. Nayibe is a, a politic is, mm. Is for this reason is cool. Uh, I I think I think he's a smart man, or or he has smart people with him, because because he 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 knows how to speak. I mean, you like him or you don't like him. You have to admit that he is a he knows how to speak. It's very difficult to um, contradict him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. He, he but... was said, you remember Fidel Castro? No, no, you know who was good too a, um, in politicians? I think um, Francisco Flores, he was very good too in, in, in speaking. Francisco Flores with uh, Fidel Castro or Hugo Chavez? No, 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 no. I mean, about smart politicians. But if we okay. speak about El Salvador, I think, I think Mauricio Fones. I'm not saying he was good or bad politician, but what I'm saying is he was a smart man. Like yes. Yeah. He was a he was a very smart man. Like Sanchez Serento. <laughs> <laughs> Without a word, teacher. Yeah, yeah. No, no words for him. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me see. Hold on. I have a list here of um Phrasal verbs. Okay, let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, give me one second. Okay, I'm going to, well, I'm going to share my screen. 
Here, let me, I'm going to share my screen with you. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes. Yeah, teacher. Okay, it says 20 super common phrasal verbs. Do you remember what is a phrasal verb? Yes. What is a phrasal verb? It's a verb who has two, two words. Two, two words. Mm, close, you are close. It's close. a verb. It's a verb and a preposition. And a preposition. Okay. Oh, class. Uh, FYI. Do you know what is FYI? No. No. FYI. That means for your information. For your information. Do you like donuts? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you know how do you know how in this moment it's impossible to eat donuts in Mr. Donut? Why? Because yes. it's two for one. The, one is every day is a it's a very it's long line. Okay. Really? Yeah. No. But you can you can buy uh, you can buy buy uh, Ugo or something like that. And if you pay today, they will give they will uh, send you tomorrow at the time that you decide. Okay. No, but you know, um, today I discovered an easier way. I recommend you to go to the gas station Uno. Están al dos por uno también all month, and they're very good. Yes. And, better, better. Yes. And no line. <laughs> yes, I heard that. Yes, today I went by, by you know, coincidence, and I asked for a coffee. I'm like, hey, donuts, two for one, really? Yes, all month, really. Okay, so I had one chocolate, and I gave my son a azúcar, and they were very good. So so if you ever want donuts this month, and Mr. Donut is full, go to Uno. Yes. Okay. All right, so a phrasal verb, oh, it says FYI. It's like, for your information. Okay. Mm -hmm. F Y I. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you write? The letter F, the letter Y, and the letter I. Oh, only the, the, the letters. The acronyms. Yeah, because y it's F Y I for okay. your okay. information. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a phrasal verb is when we have a verb and a preposition. And that becomes an item. So that is very, very proper of the language and the culture. So what this means is that this does not exist in your language or in your culture. Maybe there is a synonym, 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 synonym. Maybe there is a synonym, but there is not an exact um, an exact translation. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So here are 20 super, do you see my screen? 20 super common phrasal verbs? Yes. Yes. All right, watch. Check this out. It says a standard phrase, a standard phrasal verb consists of verb part and a preposition part. A preposition tells the position. Common prepositions you see and use in the phrasal verbs are up, down, on, off, in, out, away, and over. Sometimes the preposition part can help you translate the meaning of a phrasal verb. So this is what I was explaining to you yesterday. This is what you have to remember, that if you see the verb yeah. call, Es llamar. And off is apagar. Ah, entonces es colgar. Do not relate to the verb because it's totally something different. Mm -hmm. Phrasal verbs are a great practice, uh, are great to practice your English tenses. They are very vers versatile. You can change them into any tense you like. 
when conjunction phrasal verbs only change the verb part of the phrase and not the preposition. Example, my dog passed, passed away. away. Yeah. That means pass away, that means it's die. Die. Incorrect is my dog passed away. Incorrect, my dog passed away. No, the only thing that changes is just the verb. Yeah. Okay, let's let's do this. This is what we we're doing yesterday. Call off or call something off. What does that mean? It means to cancel. Example, we need to call off the meeting due to the weather. Or we need to call the meeting off due to the rain. I believe Sara asked me this question yesterday. That, it, that if it has to be followed, call off repeatedly. Call off? Yeah, okay, remember, call off, you can say call off, do solo call off or call something off. So call off is cancel. Yes? What do, what are things that you cancel? In the uh, my my credit card or uh, yeah, my credit card but really, 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 Sara, do you really cancel your credit card? Yes. Yes, I'm um, sure. Okay. You don't really actually, yes, people say I want to cancel the credit card, but no. You actually, you pay off the credit card. Okay, oh, nah, or... Es como cuando uno va a una pupusería. Nosotros decimos, mire, quiero cancelar. That's really, 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 it's not correct. You say, mire, quiero pagar. <laughs> pagar la cuenta. But we, we say, mire, quiero cancelar. ¿A dónde cancelo? Cancel what? If, if you think about it, you don't cancel. You pay. Do you understand, class? Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Uh, so, so remember, you. This is what I'm saying. That it's different in Spanish. También en español usamos expresiones idiomáticas y a veces ni sabemos que realmente no están bien dichas. Pero son tan comunes que las decimos y entendemos qué queremos decir. So, call off means to cancel something. You cancel an event. What is an event? You can cancel a meeting. You cancel a doctor's appointment. You can cancel a wedding. A cocktail. A cocktail, party. a party, okay. A game. Cancel, call, oh yeah, you call off the game, yes. Cancel and the vacation. game. vacation. Yeah, you cancel the vacation. Okay, good. So you can, okay, let's stay with vacation. So you said, uh, or let's stay with party. I am sick, I'm going to call off the party. Oh, I am sick, I am going to call the party off. Okay? Okay. So I am sick, I'm going to call the party off. So Irena, why are you going to call off your 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 wedding? Because I saw uh, my fiance kissing another girl. Yeah. On, on but where on the cheek on the cheek or on the lips? On the lips, of course. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I understand. Yes. <laughs> That's why. Okay, good. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. All right. Have you ever, uh, Marielos, why are you going to call off 
the appointment with a dentist tomorrow. Um, I I will call off the appointment because um, I have to work later. Okay, good. I imagine today in England or this next couple of days, the um, the family, the royal family, will cancel many events, will mm -hmm. call off many events. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's obvious because the queen is dead. Mm -hmm. Sara, why did they call off your interview? Mm. Mm, um, probably because I I did I I don't know bro for uh, uh, any problems or or any reprogram, um, how do you say reprogramación? Reprogram. Okay, or maybe for reprograms? Okay, yeah. Very good, you see the next one is calm down. <laughs> calm down is relax. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, calm down. And that's kind of similar in Spanish. Hey, calmate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, and I can say mm -hmm. I need to calm to calm down all day long today. Okay, calm down is because you are in a you are in a situation where you're very angry, frustrated, or something is wrong, and mm -hmm. so you need to calm down. Okay. So you need to get because if you say I need to calm down all day today, no, you need to calm down when you are in that situation. You need to go back to normal. But if I have this situation all day long today, it's <laughs> Oh, yes, and you need to calm down. <laughs> All day long. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Milton, Milton, what, what helps you calm down? Uh, for example, teacher, <clears throat> teacher, your look is very worried. Calm down. Uh, you need, calm down. You need... Uh, because tomorrow will be another day. Okay, so you need to calm down. Tomorrow you will be another to, day. Okay, you need. Okay. okay, it's good. So repeat, you need to calm down. Tomorrow will be another day. That's a very good example. So repeat, please. Milton, can you repeat the example? Okay, teacher, you look is very worried. You need to calm down. Will be tomorrow. Will be another day. Very good. There you go. Good. Mayra Sencio, what helps you calm down? Um, sometimes um, watch TV or listen to music. Okay. You don't count to 10? Sometimes uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> yes, sometimes. That, help, that helps me calm down, counting to 10. <laughs> and if 10 doesn't help, then I count to 20. If I possible, I talk about with someone. Okay, good. That helps you calm down. David Rivas. 
That okay. I'm sorry, David. That you said that is your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, my wife. When when you are angry, do you do you show you're angry or do you wait to calm down? Um, I I think show angry, but uh, for a few minutes or seconds. Okay, and then you calm down. Yes. Okay, good. Now, next, catch up. Do you see it right there? Catch up, it says, <laughs> so you wanna catch up, but remember it's catch up. That means get to the same point as another person. Imagine I am a salesperson. Marielos is a salesperson. Irena is a salesperson. Okay, I am the boss. Milton is a salesperson. Milton, today, uh, this week, Milton has 11 sales. Marielos has 14 sales. Mayra Asensio has 13 sales. Irena has two sales. So something is wrong, right? And I say, Irena, what's wrong? You only have two sales this week. Everybody has more than 10. You need to catch up. Do you understand what catch up is? Yes. It's, um, tengo que como apresurarme para lograr la meta también o para llegar a vender eso. No apresurarse is not the correct word. Look, look, look at the explanation. Get to the same point as another person. Lograr. Lograr llegar al mismo punto, nivel, lugar, lado de esa persona. Catch up. Okay. okay. Las madres cuando ya, más que todo las madres, porque los papás no tanto. Las madres ya cuando ven que los hijos están creciendo y les está cansando la estatura. People say, oh man, look, he's big, he's catching up to me. Y después, pum, lo paso. Es alcanzando. Ya. Yeah. Ok. También una expresión, hey man, let's drink coffee someday and catch up. Ponernos al día, ponernos al tanto. Mm. For example, tomorrow I will visit my friends and we're going to catch up. Yes, do you understand? We're going to catch up. Mm -hmm. All right, so does everybody understand catch up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Next we have do over. Do over, listen to the explanation. It says, do it again. Hacerlo de nuevo, Chucho. Yes. Who can give me an example using do over? Hmm. Any action? Yeah, give me. Give, you know, when, when you did something, but something happened and you have to do over, give me an example. Okay, you have to do over your homework. Why? Because there is a mistake. Oh man, okay, good. Very good example. Okay. Yes, like for example, Irena, what? You have to do over your homework, why? 
because the report was about countries in America and you did a report about Russia. <laughs> and you say, oh, <laughs> okay, teacher, I will do the report over. Okay. Yes. Now there are some things you can't do over, but the majority of the things you can. All right, Miguel Angel Ramirez, give me an example with do over. Do over. Uh, oh, you're an accountant, right? Uh, I am lying in the country. No, I'm sorry, your, your profession, you are an accountant. Oh, yes. It's a, no, no, I, I, my job is in warehouse or okay. is, uh, yes, is requests. Okay, so you do inventory. Uh, do you do inventory? Yes, yeah, I have inventory. What happens when your inventory no le cuadran? Like, hey, <laughs> what do you do? Okay, I need to a uh, report of inventory over because I need a cuadrar. Yeah, because, okay, I you say the numbers don't match. Don't match. The numbers don't match don't match or the report doesn't match o sea los números no cuadran oh don't match oh okay i need to uh, do uh, repeat the inventory over because don't match the yes mm -hmm. the report mm -hmm. don't match okay marielos Tell me something. Give me an example using do over. Okay. I need to do over to do over the report because um, I didn't find a mistake. Very good. Mm -hmm. O con alguien bien, bien perfeccionista, you say, no, do over. Like yes. when somebody is dancing, it's like, okay, wait, no, do over. Do over. Do over. When somebody is singing, la, no, do over. Yes. La, no, do over. Because a productor of movie. Yeah. Yes. Eat yes. out. Yes. Eat out. What is eat out? This is very, this is, I think, is explanatory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eat out. I like it. Yep. In my house, because in my house, it's only my wife, my little son, and me. Oh. Usually, every weekend, we eat out. We don't cook. We eat out Saturday and Sunday. But okay. not necessarily, not necessarily a, a restaurant. Sometimes it's Don Pollo, sometimes a comedor, sometimes pizza, whatever, but we don't like to cook. So remember, eat out is really not necessarily something fancy. You just eat. don't eat in your house. Just eat, eat out is farm. not cooking. In the far in the mountain. Yeah. Let me see, for example, Sara Martinez, you are married. How often do you eat out with your family? I, I eat out on my weekend off. Repeat, please. I eat out on my weekend off. Why do you say weekend off? My weekend off. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But you know, it's not necessary to say my weekend off. You can say I eat out on the weekends or I eat out on my days off. Okay. Eat out in my birthday. Or I eat out in my birthday, yes. 
because that's like saying I eat out on my vacation off. It's too repetitive. So you can just say I eat out on the weekends. I eat out on the weekends or I I eat out on my days off. Okay. Juan Jose, when it's time to eat out with your family and it's your turn to choose, where do you go? And normally um, to my daughter like to, to eat Chinese food. No, but listen um, to my question. But it, when it's your turn to choose. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, I prefer to eat uh, tacos. <laughs> tacos. Okay, good. Mexican, Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I am a McDonald's lover. I love McDonald's. <laughs> when I when I went to Lima, uh, mm -hmm. since twenty years ago. Um, the uh, Peru uh, food, uh, Peruana, I don't know, Peru. Um, Peruvian food? Uh, yes. Um, the many food of uh, Peru uh, doesn't like. Um, always, always <laughs> ate, ate um, hamburger from oh, really? McDonald's. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Yes, my, my wife gets angry with me because when it's my, she says like, if it's my birthday, I want McDonald's. If, to, hey, let's kick it as McDonald's. She says, stop McDonald's. There are more restaurants. <laughs> yes, but, but I love McDonald's. <laughs> Hamburger speciality with guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> my day is eat out with my family. With my family. Yeah, my wife hates McDonald's because I love McDonald's so much. I I, I am very... Old, old school. Mm -hmm. She said, Vamos, let's go to Benny Hans. Let's go somewhere else for the hamburgers. No, I said, hey, if mm -hmm. I have the option, I prefer McDonald's. Uh, teacher, one of these days, I heard on the radio that is going to be a happy day of McDonald's or something like that. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's tomorrow. Oh man, I'm going to check that out. Yes. Yeah. The breakfast at McDonald's are good. All right. So that's eat out. Uh, oh yeah, Irena, you, you live alone, correct? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> this is an interesting question. Do you cook or do you eat out? Um, I cook. Really? Yes. Sometimes I I eat out, but it's no, it's not always. I remember when I used to live alone, I lived alone maybe for 10 years. And I remember I love to cook, so I always cooked. But then my food got ruined because it's very, very difficult to cook a little portion of rice. <laughs> it's very difficult. You have to cook a, a good portion. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. it, you know, so one day I said, it's more expensive to cook for one person. <laughs> So, yes, sometimes uh -huh. it is. Uh -huh. So yeah. I prefer to eat out. Yes, mm -hmm. it depends. Well, um, to, for example, for meeting with a friends, yes, or maybe sometime at, at our office, because I always cook uh, for lunch. Okay. For dinner, not always. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting there. Okay, so we understand eat out, right? Next we have, oh, figure out. Figure out. Okay, I need to know, um, My Mayra Asensio, Maritza, are you in class today? Are you here? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, so figure out. ¿Qué es la diferencia de descubrir y encontrar? Maybe 
for the career you are looking for <laughs> and to find you are looking for too. Yeah, but there's a difference. Uh -huh. Usually when people say discover is something that did not exist. Okay. Yeah, like, like oh, they discovered a new fossil or a mm -hmm. dinosaur. But okay. many people, many people confuse discover with find. Find is something you look, you are intentionally looking for. Find. Mm -hmm. So we have figure out. Figure out is understand something or find the answer. <clears throat> For example, somebody is uh, giving an, an explanation of something in something maybe new for 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 me and i am trying to figure out uh, what what does he is telling or explaining yes you're trying to understand okay. sometimes um okay let me give you an example i am a very curious person i am mm -hmm. and i like to figure out things sometimes you know like um okay so there's this lady she has a panaderia she has a bakery for for like 50 years i think and one day i asked her do you know why and really i didn't know and I asked her, do you know why the name Peperechas? I said, por qué? Why, why the name Peperechas? And you know, people just say, I don't know. I said, chiquita, si le dicen. I said, oh yeah, but there's always like a reason why. Mm -hmm. So one time I figured out why they are called Peperechas. And did you find the answer? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. One time I figured out why they are called peperechas. Do you know why they're called peperechas? I, I know that it's because they are uh, with color, <clears throat> color on, on it, with red color of sugar, sugar red. Okay, Marielos? Okay, that's one. Yes, I agree with Rina. Because the, the other that uh, there is some radas too. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <yeah. laughs> and they and doesn't have the, color on yes. it. <laughs> no, actually, you know, I figured out that they're called peperechas because that's how women peperechas act. You know that okay, yeah, this might sound funny, but it makes sense. Listen. When you say a woman is peperecha, what does that mean? Maybe uh, I heard that uh, the people call peperechas because they they have a lot of makeup okay. on, on her face. Okay, that's one, but what else? Okay, if you call a woman peperecha, it's, it's a little offensive. Yes. Yes, yes, yes? it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, it's a nasty woman. Though. Maybe she's a prostitute. Maybe mm -hmm. she's. Mm -hmm. But how do they act? Como actúan ellas? Hola, mi amor. Hi, uh -huh. baby. I love you. Sweeties. Son bien mieludas. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> really? I, I it, didn't know that explanation. Yeah, I, I didn't know that, and I think it's a perfect explanation. Yes. So, oh, okay. Yeah. And so I asked that lady from the from the bakery. And she says, because all the women peperechas son bien meludas con el cliente, con el, with the man. I didn't know that explanation. <laughs> and that's why, that's, that's why the other one's called Honrada, because she's white. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe that, maybe that there's a different answer. I don't know, but I like that answer. It was interesting. Yes. Yes. It's so, better than the color. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um. 
I like to figure yeah. out things when I don't understand or when I don't know. Yes, it, like yesterday, uh, I don't know if I need to fix a remote control. I'm having a, a hard time with the remote control. So today, I, oh man, you look good. So today after class, I'm going to figure out how to fix it. Yes. Sometimes when you do something bad, remember when you did something bad and, oh my God, mamá, perdí todo mi tarea, lo olvidé y no sé qué, la tengo que traer mañana. Your mother just says, I don't know, that's your problem, you figure out. Yes, remember that expression? Yes. yes. That's your responsibility, that's your problem, you figure out what to do, I will not help you. Okay, so then let's figure out is understand something and find the answer. Like what I told you, I wanted to figure out why Peperechas are called peperechas because there has to be a name. So I wanted to figure out. So I started asking many people that I imagine knew. And then this lady, this lady told me that because <laughs> peperecha women, that's how they act. They're very mieludas. You know, they're very sweet. They're very, oh, baby. Oh, mi amor. Oh. And I said, oh, okay, now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Bueno, ustedes han visto un meme que dice, ¿a qué edad te diste cuenta? No, no. ¿Nunca han visto esos, esos memes? No. 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 <laughs> really? No. ¿Qué dicen, por ejemplo? Uh, ¿A qué edad te diste cuenta que Ñoño era el mismo Don Barriga? <laughs> Ajá, Eden, y uno se hey, es cierto. <risa> no, ya, yeah, salen muchas cosas. ¿A qué edad te diste cuenta que esto y esto y esto y esto y esto y esto? En inglés, that meme is called When did you figure out that ñoño is the same of Don Barriga? De verdad nunca han visto esos memes, ¿a qué edad te diste cuenta? No, no, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah, they're very popular. A mí me gusta leerlos porque no sé qué. Ey, es cierto, no, no sabía. All right, okay. Next we have give up. Give up is two things. Stop trying. What is stop trying? Do you watch, for example, uh, have you seen in, in Lucha Libre wrestling? Sometimes I don't Cuando, when you tap, you the referee, okay, okay, ding, 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 ding. That means I give up, me doy. Me doy por vencido. Yes. That's one. When is the situation when you give up? Boys, boys, did you ever have that problem? that you like a girl and then you were very insisting like, hey, come on, let's go out. No, come on, let's go out. No, come on. One day, let's go out, drink coffee. No, no. And your friends tell you, hey, David, man, give up. It's like, stop. I don't know what is it out. Give, give up. Give up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. O sea, una semana, it's okay, pero ya tres años, like, no, man, give up. 
<laughs> That's one form, stop trying. Now, the second form is to quit. Quit is to stop. To stop. For example, in the class, somebody smokes. Nobody smokes? No. No. Okay, hey, that's very good. Good to hear. But you know, sometimes like, and I go to the doctor and I say, hey doctor, I feel bad in my, my chest. Sometimes I can't breathe. And the doctor says, do you smoke? Yes, doctor. You need to give up smoking. Doctor, I have, I have, imagine if I am diabetic, what do I need to give up? The sugar. Sugar. Sugar, candies, Cokes. Soda. Yes. Mm -hmm. Soda, yeah, anything with sugar. Yes. Oh, FYI, I was reading today. Do you know that in Ireland, Irlanda, mm -hmm. Starbucks is prohibited, tiene prohibido, to say bread. Why? Decir el pan, because the laws of Ireland do not consider that bread because it has so much sugar. Mm, okay. Then the Ireland people are, uh, how is it called? Simplest? Simple. Yeah, they're very, <laughs> they're very simple. Yeah. That's why they are very, very simple. That's why they are very good. Yeah. <laughs> Ger no, that, that would be Germans. Germans, they're very. Yes. <laughs> I have a, a co-worker that is from Germany. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, always, I always think that when German people speak, they always sound angry. <laughs> and maybe, oh, maybe, well... maybe they're happy. But they're like, ah, sabotach, ah, stoch, ah, stoch. <laughs> Are no, you angry? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, he speaks Spanish, but uh, he is very, um, how say, punctual? Punctual. Punctual. He's very punctual. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, actually, everybody's punctual except Latinos. <laughs> really? But there are exceptions in Latin people. No, but in general, in general, no. <laughs> For the menos, Mexico, Central America, and Caribbean, we're the same. Remember, remember, I tell you that I'm a translator. Mm -hmm. Every day I have a problem that with a appointments. Per a person calls me and if you say que tarde porque you know for a reason and I and the doctor oh I'm sorry doctor yes and the doctor says I'm sorry. Your your appointment is at nine, and you're here at nine forty-five. I have mm -hmm. more appointments. See, sí, pero it, it, the same excuse always. See, sí, pero es que había traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you need to call before. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> you need not and, after. It, yes, and not after. Not like yes, but there was a lot of traffic. No one hour after. <laughs> yeah, not one hour after. Yes, it always happens. And this happens to Dominicans, Mexicans, Salvadoreños. We always do that. But this is this is every day, every day. Oh no! But esperé tres meses para esta cita. And, hmm. and the doctor says, "I'm sorry, I have a strict schedule." Mm -hmm. yeah. And the social security, you lose the the, the finding. You yes. Lose yes. The, <laughs> Early. It's true. You have it's to true. wait six months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? You know what? That's similar in the United States. Because I work, I work they in this in the United States, there's one Kasama well care mm -hmm. as a security. That that's the one the government gives to you. Mm -hmm. And like let me give you an example. 
uh, yesterday, this lady, she, uh, she had her son, her son had an extreme headache, but like heavy headache. Headache. Uh-huh, headache. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Toothache. Stomach ache. Okay, so the, the son had a very big headache and the headache has been constant for one week. Wow. So then the mother called and she said, I'm really worried. My son is six years old and he cries because his head, he can't continue, you know, like, okay. Um, yes, we have an appointment. Oh, and, and the nurse lady said, Quiero hacer una cita? Yes, please, I want to see the doctor. Okay. Uh, the next available sería el abril 16 a las 10 y 40. ¿Puede ir? <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> to, 20, to 23. Yes, of next year. <laughs> my next goodness. Uh -huh. oh, and then my the, so it really, it's not only in El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> and the mother, well, listen, my son has, he might be dead tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's an emergency. Yes, but, but it's so many, many, many people. <clears throat> so that's oh anything that is free. <clears throat> but but you know what? In El Salvador, I tell I tell my friends and my family the the this the medical Medicare in El Salvador okay. is bad when it's something very basic, but it's good when it's something very serious. Yes. 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 But when it's something basic, That's like, like yes. yes, yes, like a heart surgery, boom. So, mm -hmm. for example, that kid yesterday in El Salvador, lo hubieran pasado, like, okay, mm -hmm. here, go. <laughs> but imagine April 17th. Oh my goodness. No, y la señora se pone a llorar, y no, ¿qué voy a hacer, mi hijo? En, you, en, should, you should tell her, come to El Salvador. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 No, you know, sometimes I feel I feel very bad. Sometimes I feel very angry. And I and I only I only can um translate. Uh -huh. yes. It. yes. It's like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, this is bad. So give up. Yes. Okay, so we understand give up is to stop trying. Yeah. Yes, or quit. So there's two different things. Like quit is to stop doing. Okay. Yes. Generalmente los doctores le dicen eso bastante. Hey man, you need to give up the donuts. You need to give up carbohydrates. You need to give up sodas. You need to give up smoking. You need to give up beer. Ese es otra de latino. Uh, the doctor says you need to give up beer, liquor. Pero pregúntele si mejor puedo reducir la cantidad. <laughs> Every Latino says that. Oh my goodness. Yes, And I, did you ask to the doctor? Yes, I have to. And what said the doctor said? Sometimes some doctors get angry. <laughs> they say, they say, are you serious? You have a very high blood sugar level. You have diabetes. You have breathing problems. You need to give up. And you're asking me if you can reduce? Only one. Oh my goodness. Yes. It's very funny. But it's the beginning. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So next we have... Go over. Mm. Go over. Very simple. Repasar. Repasar. That's when you practice something and or when you finish something, you're going to give a presentation and then I say, okay, I'm going to go over it. Go over it. You do it again. Do it again. 
But it's very different de volverlo a hacer de cero. No, es repasarlo. Before, before you have an exam, you go over your notes. Yes? Mm -hmm. You go over your notes before, before you have an exam, no? I hope. Yes. Um, before you sign a contract, you go over it, no? Yes. Yes, you... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute, mm -hmm. wait, wait a minute. Let me go over this. <laughs> the small letter too. Yeah, the, the letters get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. <laughs> yes. Next, hang out. Who is in their 40s here in the class? Excuse me, teacher. Who is in their 40s? Mm. I'm past. You're past 40? Yes. How old are you? 52. Okay. Do you remember your high school days? Yes. So. Where? Okay. Hang out is? What is hang out? Spend time. Remember like 20 years ago or maybe more? It was cool to go to Metro Centro after school? Yes. Yes, everybody went to hang out to Metro Centro. Yes? Where did you hang out with your friends, Marielos? You are on mute. You're on mute. Your microphone. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, teacher. I That's am a right. conventional, unconventional person because I didn't like <laughs> hang out. Um, oh, really? So yeah, from yeah. from from school straight home. Yes. Yes. Um. And when I go to Metro Centro, only if I have to to buy something. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Hey, I like that expression. I'm very conventional. Okay, cool. Yes. All right. What about you, Sarita? Where did you hang out with your friends after school? Um, I hang out because I I didn't have contact with it there. You didn't have contact with what? With there. Who is there? No, with there. Okay, you didn't have contact with? I don't understand the last part. With them. Who is them? Yes. But my question is, who is them? Um, in Spanish, con ellos. ¿Quiénes son ellos? I'm, I'm sorry, listen to my question. Where did you hang out in high school, after school? Ah, sorry. Mm -hmm. I hang out <laughs> uh, to my house. <laughs> in my house. Yes. Sí, pero es que you can't hang out in your house. You live in your house. <laughs> and now because um, when I went to the school, I didn't have money. But you don't really and... necessarily need to have money. You can hang out in the park. So, uh... No sé si ustedes tuvieron esto, que alguien tocaba. Vas a salir. <laughs> Remember? No, I, mm -hmm. I didn't like. Eso, oh, sí, uh -huh. The English version of that is, hey, David, come out, hang out. Oh. That's the English okay. version. In Spanish, <laughs> tocaba y la mamá, ¿qué quieres? 
Puede salir de ahí. No, Do you remember that? Estás tiene que salir de No. Yeah, the English version would be, hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Salí pues, let's hang out. So it, 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 it doesn't really, I don't know, just go outside and be in a place with your friends. It doesn't you don't need money. You know, you can hang out in the park, in the corner, smoke, whatever. You know what, children is. You want to spend the time. <laughs> yeah, spend time. It says hang okay. out. Okay. Don't need to spend money. <laughs> yep. You know, when I was a little kid in the United States, I lived in California. And um, many, many of my friends, they were gangsters. Mandieros. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I was little on all my friends and then we grew up and everybody went to a different schools and all my friends became gangsters. And I, I speak with my friends and why did I not become a gangster? Mm -hmm. And I remember that because I love rock and roll music. I love rock music. And and when I was a kid in the United States, only white people listened to rock music. Because gangsters, they listen to hip hop or rap music, you know. Mm -hmm. So I always hang out with white people, with white kids. So maybe maybe that's what saved me. But all my friends, I said, they were always my friends, you know, but it's very different here. I can't know what they're with me or my Yeah, I mean, gangster, gang, gangsters in the United States are very different. Por eso me da lástima cuando deportan a algunos, ¿verdad? Cuando los deportan acá y se visten todos así, yo les digo, hey, don't dress like that. No, but I'm, I'm no, it's different here. Aquí sí te matan. Mm -hmm. They will kill you. Y le digo porque trabajo en call centers y eco, me, ente, de, han matado unos cuantos de. Yeah. Pero por eso, I hung out with white people, with white kids. And white kids, all they did was listen to rock music, skateboard. You know, skateboard. So blue hair. Oh yeah, I That's had. That's why you wear blue hair. Yes, <laughs> yes, I painted my hair. Yes, <laughs> to fit in. Remember, fit in. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, Miguel, oh, this is interesting. I want, I want to ask Miguel this question. Miguel Angel. Hello. Did you hang out with your friends after school? In my rooms, roommates in the university, we say, I had a car, I had money, I have time. Hang out to the beach. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't imagine you doing that. I was expecting you to say no, teacher. I didn't hang out. <laughs> yes, it's in the middle of Tamarindo, it's El Cuco. The espino and out to the beach in the night. <laughs> okay. Oh, moment. Oy, wow. At night. Okay, you good. see the appearance, uh, how I say, las apariencias engañan en Appearances <laughs> can, <laughs> they can fool you. They, they can? Fool you. Fool you. F-O-O-L, fool you. Okay. I'm sorry que, que les toque este tema, pero les voy a decir por qué. ¿Se acuerdan una vez en plena pandemia cuando hablaba el presidente que él dijo un dicho, me engañas una vez, es tu culpa, me engañas dos veces, es mi culpa. Yes. Mm -hmm. qué él dijo eso? Eso lo sacó textualmente de un dicho en inglés. Porque, y creo que lo dijo, como di, un dicho en inglés creo que dijo. Porque 
El, el dicho es así. Fool me one time. Shame on you. Me engañas una vez. Qué mal por ti. Fool me two times. Shame on me. Me vuelves a engañar. Qué mal por mí. So it, it's, it's an English saying. Fool me one time. Shame on you. Fool me two times. Shame on me. I remember que estaba viendo. Hey, that's in English. Y, y creo que lo quiso decir así en español. Y lo, y lo dijo bien. Porque nunca lo había oído esa versión en español. Creo que él dijo. Engáñame una vez. Qué mal por ti. Engáñame dos veces. Qué mal por mí. Algo así digo, creo. Pero era. The, actually, that's, a, that's an English. Fool me one time. It's an English expression. Yes? All right, class. Then I hope you have a very, very nice weekend. Let me see. Hold on. Let me, let me do one thing. One second, please. Hold on. I have a question. Sure. You uh, can you send the the link? You read my mind. There you go. Eso está haciendo Reina. Oh, really? <laughs> There's the link. Thank you. It's on, it's on the chat. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank All right, you thank you thank very you. much. Have a nice weekend, and I will see you Monday, okay? Okay, okay thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, take care. See you. Have a nice weekend, everybody. everybody. Hang out. Hang out. Good to the night. <laughs> Hang out. Hang out. Good Hang night. Out. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.